Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to a brand new video and I want to start today's video off with a little question, okay? And that question is, have you ever felt threatened? Did you ever feel like someone might, I don't know, fucking mug you? Have you ever been in like Vietnam and like some people were shooting at you and it was really bloody and there was fucking guts all over the place and you thought to yourself, hey, I might actually fucking die here. Now, if you answered yes to any of those questions, it's your lucky day, buddy, because today I found a fantastic video by one of my favorite YouTube content creators will keith now if you don't know who will keith is i feel bad for you son because will keith got 99 problems but killing people definitely is not one will keith is a grown man that uh takes pleasure in killing diet coke bottles i'm not joking about that play the clip You fucking missed! But lucky for us, Will Keith is back today with a tutorial on how to fight off the burglars that try to fucking steal your shit. And man, I'm just really excited for this. Um, Will Keith, I don't want to ride your dick, but man, I, I am so excited for this. I get my house fucking robbed daily now, and you know, the burglars come on and I just hide under my bed. I can't do anything, but today is the day that it all changes. So without further ado, guys, sit back, relax, grab your popcorn, grab your katana, get your Jedi hoodie, Grab a fucking rock and let's play this fantastic video on how we can kill some burglars. Play that shit. Hello, I am Will Keith, and today I'm going to be teaching you some methods that I came up with to use a katana to defend your home in the event of a burglar. <laughs> What? Defend your home? This motherfucker literally just said, This katana will help you defend your home. <laughs> Please, dude. Completely joking. If you guys are laughing right now, fucking stop. Okay, seriously, stop. This is serious shit, okay? I want to find out how I can kill some burglars in the event that someone tries to rape me, okay? So, let's be serious, give this man some respect, and, uh, pl please fucking continue on how you can fucking body slam someone. Say the burglar has a baseball bat, pipe, some kind of large blunt object, about the same length as a katana. Hold up, Karate Panda. I just got one quick little question. What if the burglar has a katana? That's my question, okay? He's talking about pipes. He's talking about dildos. He's talking about all that shit. But what if the burglar comes in and starts yelling shit like, I'm gonna fucking 9-11 you. Like, what do you do then, huh? What do you do? What if he comes in and says he's going to delete my honor? What if he says he's gonna toss my honor into the recycle bin, huh? What do I do then? What if he comes in and he's fully dressed up, face painted and everything as a samurai? What the fuck do we do, dude? I mean, you really gotta cover everything. Everything, man. I mean, I'm not trying to, I'm not trying to interrupt, but like, shit, dude. I'm really scared of the the fucking Naruto burglar, you know. Obviously, a burglar is not gonna have a katana. That would be the most badass burglar ever, but I doubt that's gonna happen. Hey, thanks for answering that question, buddy. But I mean, I really wouldn't doubt that a burglar wouldn't have a katana. I mean, just between me and you. I mean, seriously, let's keep this on the down low. Just, just me and you guys. I used to, you know, I used to be a katana burglar. Alright, so that would be the burglar here, my old beat up punching bag. Now, he has a baseball bat, just an example. Then, I'm, when I'm done with this, I'm going to show you some things to do in the event that your burglar is armed with a firearm, which will be unfortunate. Yeah, we're just going to be saying that the burglar has a baseball bat, but, I mean, if the burglar were to have a gun, I mean, I, I would be doing my strategy a little bit different. Uh, the first thing I would do is uh, shove the katana up my asshole, and then after that, I would jump out my window, maybe take a few of my Pokemon cards with me. I mean, I'm not I'm not letting that motherfucker steal it, am I right? Like, fuck that shit. But then uh, I run down the street yelling for help, and perhaps after a while, maybe start crying uh, on the side of the street, maybe on a curb. But uh, hey, man, it really depends on what he has. You know, if he has a pipe, then I might as well just go up and fucking slice his head off. In the event that your burglar is armed with a firearm, which will be unfortunate, and you can't just run up to him and stab him, obviously. If he has a gun, you gotta be more stealthy about it. <laughs> stealthy, huh? So <laughs> oh my god, Leafy, just because he's a little bit overweight doesn't mean he can't be stealthy. I mean, he may be like a larger target to, you know, like, spot out, but I mean, that doesn't mean he can't be stealthy, you, you fucking asshole. Alright, burglar baseball bat. What you wanna do is instead of your normal chest level katana grip, you want to extend it out more, keep him at range. He's not going to be able to walk into your blade if he tries to go sideways. Your face when you got no money. Rent is due. Things are tough. You're about to get kicked out on the street. Your buddy comes up to you and says that he's going to go rob a place. And if you come with, you'll be able to pay your rent. 
You decide to go. What the hell is the worst that could happen? You grab a pipe. You break into this guy's house. Next thing you know, this fat chubby guy is fucking fighting you with a samurai sword like this is Naruto 3. Step out of the way. If he swings at you, step in. Stab. Burglar John. Oh man, that's it? Just just a quick little stab and he's fucking done? Man, that was really anticlimactic. I was expecting you to say something like, Yeah, he swings at you, deflect his thing, cut the baseball bat in half, and then slice his fucking throat off. And watch as this little peasant coughs up blood as he struggles for the last bit of air he can get, but he can't because he has no throat. You have it in your hand. Victory is ours. Allahu Akbar. Also, if you do, for some strange reason, need to do an overhead strike, what you can do, bring the blade kind of upwards, like this, around your head, and then down. If you can't bring it straight up, you're going to break something, hit the ceiling, you don't want that. Okay, let me get this straight. You've chosen to battle a fucking criminal with the samurai sword, and you're worried about breaking something. A criminal has broken into your house, and you decided, I'm going to fucking kill you, and you're worried about breaking your mom's fucking vase. Bruh, do you think Naruto gives a shit about breaking some fucking vase? No, he fucking kills the other person. You watch Game of Thrones? Do you watch Game of Thrones? Do you think anyone gives a shit in Game of Thrones about breaking some vase? No. You're in the ring. You have a katana. He has a baseball bat. Only one person leaves. He either kills you and metaphor rapes you or you slice his head off and take his fucking throat make up your mind bro so if you're in close we're gonna act like the burglar now has a knife you're in close what you gotta do keep your hand on the back of the katana like this you can devote strikes try to slash at his arm you can punch Am I the only one that's getting the impression that this would never work in any fucking scenario at all? Like, okay, I get it that if he swings at the burglar and the burglar's not paying attention, he might be able to cut him, okay? But him, like, holding the katana like that and fucking, like, going to punch him, I could just never see that working. Now, just a little disclaimer, I know some guy in the comments is gonna sit there and start arguing with everybody. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm a, I'm a katana expert. My, 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 my dad used to be a samurai. Uh, yeah, that, that's a really good technique. But I just can't see it working in any scenario. You holding it like a fucking stick and trying to hit him arms like I just don't see it, man. I'm sorry. What we're gonna do is say you're unfortunate enough to get a burglar with a gun. You gotta be stealthy about it. Say you're in your room, he's going to most burglars are probably gonna be in the living room trying to steal the TV and whatnot. If he is, you don't want to get into a fight with a burglar. If he's taking your stuff, try to get a look at him, get a picture if you can. Gather information, don't get in a fight with him if you don't have to. If he's coming up to your room trying to like, get into your jewelry box or whatever, that's when you gotta get into a fight. So okay, okay, let me get this straight. Don't try to fight the burglar. But if he tries to steal your stuff, you gotta be stealthy and fucking kill him. Okay, so who the fuck is gonna break into your house and not try to steal anything? He wouldn't be a burglar unless he tried to steal your stuff. What kind of- what, what is he even say? What is this? My, my fucking head hurts. You're gonna stand here like this. As soon as the burglar starts opening the door, he has a gun, he has no clue you're here. Just be quiet. When he opens the door... <laughs> 1 hundred percent gonna work. No questions, nothing. This is- this is how you fight the burglar. <laughs> 1 hundred percent legit. Stand door shut and stand back. Hopefully you'll hit him with a good strike. If not, then open the door, swing at him, hopefully you fucking take off his head, because if you're not, you're probably gonna fucking die. Like, even for this guy, the number one Game of Thrones fan, he doesn't even know what to say, he's just like, yeah, if you don't fucking kill him, then, uh, yeah, you're, you're then you, then you have to, uh, uh, well, shit, I, I guess you would just, just die, I mean, he has a fucking gun, I think it'd be GG, it's just GG, good game. So, I'm gonna go back here. Say cameraman is the burglar. Don't, don't come here. I'm just using this as an example. He's going to be here. Starts opening the door. Big kick. Run in. Straight. Big kick. <laughs> Dude.
please. No. Let me get this straight. Someone breaks into your house. They have a fucking gun. Let's just kick down the door and fucking try to slice them. What? <laughs> oh, dude. I need to get a glass of water. If you have any kind of better weapon you can use. If you have like a bone arrow, if you have a crossbow, if you just... What is this guy? Yeah, if someone breaks into your house, just grab your crossbow, maybe a uh, bow and arrow, maybe uh, the guillotine. I mean, anything, anything really works. There's not much else I can tell you about this. Just be safe is the biggest rule. And that's the end of this video. Well, guys, in conclusion, if someone breaks into your house, just hide behind a door, try to jab at them, maybe use a bow and arrow, maybe a crossbow, maybe uh, throw your sword at them, and, uh, oh yeah, one last thing, you have to fucking kill them. Don't call 911. There's no honor in that. Kill them. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video today, and hey dude, if you did, it's your lucky day man, because not only will you be supporting me, but if you like this video, you will be receiving your very own, uh, po Pokemon. Yeah, you'll get your own Pokemon, this is not a scam at all. The Pokeball will be, uh, r right up your asshole right after you like the video. Instantly. It'll literally appear in your butthole. Yep. This is, this is legit. Um, if you don't believe me, then, uh... Well, uh, I'll fucking sue you then. But seriously, guys, thank you so much for all the support. This growth on this channel is just insane, and it's all thanks to you guys. And um, it's just it's just overall crazy seeing this channel grow so fast. And I know it's so generic to say this, but I never thought this channel would make it this far. I didn't think so many people like shared my sense of humor, I guess. But thank you guys so much for watching and all your support. And uh, have a fantastic day, and peace out. Also, 50,000 likes and I'll fight Will Keith, Game of Thrones style, katana to katana, in an arena. Yes, this is, this is legit. I will fucking murder you, Will Keith. Yeah.